hi guys welcome back you are watching for you take in today's video we are going to review the another update open beta 3 which was came on yesterday for one plus six so let's get started <laughs> If you are non-rooted user, when you go into the settings under the system and under the system updates, you will get the small update or the error update for this new open beta 3. But if you are rooted, you have to download the whole the package of 1.5 GB. You can also manually download the whole the package from the link given into our video description. Download that zip file place it into your root of your sd card then go to the settings system system update and uh, click the gear icon and select the local upgrade and select that downloaded file and the click install button wait for a while after the completion of the system update you have to click the reboot button and you are good to go this update doesn't have any visual changes as compared to open beta 2 this is the similar as the open beta 2 but there are some major system improvements we will discuss that let when you go under the settings about phone you will see that your phone is updated to open beta 3 it doesn't have changed anything from the open beta 2 it's all is similar your security patch is for the 5th september all things are similar so now we will discuss the all the system improvements let's get started the first system improvement is that they have fixed the stability issues for the ambient display when you goes into the settings in the under the display and the ambient display you can see that the phone is now easily detect the lift up display so that it can show you ambient display as quick as possible there are no any lag or any issues about this they have solved all the issues for the ambient display in this update the next improvement is for the face unlock and the fingerprint scanner some users from open beta 2 are the facing the problem that when the phone is screen off mode it can't able to detect the fingerprint scanner easily that problem is completely solved now in this update you also get the improved face unlock so that your face will be easily detected and it's unlock your phone fast as possible see this it's working very flawlessly the next feature they have added in this update that you can able to pre hold your power button and enable the google assistance for that you have to go to the settings then you have to go to the buttons and gestures there you will get quick activate the assistant app by small pressing your power button see this it's working but if you want to use the power menu you have to slightly long press your power button for more than 0.5 seconds so that it can enable the power menu also see this see this this is the power menu so it's very conven convenient and it looks like the big buy feature for the given by the samsung the next feature is that they have added the parallel app support for the most of the apps like the telegram discord imo lots of apps are added for the parallel app support here i have added the telegram for the parallel app and it's working good the next thing is that they have added the improved one plus switch 2.1.0 which has lots of the feature the first feature for this app is that it supports now the backup and the recovery of application data including its settings like home screen lost screen and app layout see this you can able to backup all the things from the apps and when you restore these apps they are working as before when you wipe your phone it's giving you the whole the backup of your system apps and the everything the next thing is that you can now manually add the connection for a new phone when you want to transfer the data by using this barcode it can you can use this barcode to connect the new phone so it's a good feature so the overall performance of this update is very good and the as per their uh, bugs they have mentioned that google pay is not working but 
uh, it's working here you can see here it's working very good there are no any problems so thumbs up for this the all the apps are working there is no problem about the stability everything is fluid and smooth so i can definitely recommend you to download and install this update so thanks guys for watching this video like our video share it subscribe our channel and press the bell icon okay see you next time